Officials in Gloversville got a pretty odd mystery on their hands, a case of a missing antique bell. It's believed to have been stolen, but what's got them really scratching their heads is who could have taken it since it weighs a ton? I mean, literally a ton. News at ABC's Liz Holiday on the story all day. I know you couldn't lift this bell, Liz. Uh, what's the latest with this? John, until 2011, the now missing bell spent the majority of its life here. It was once the first Baptist church in Gloversville, but when it was demolished, they moved it to storage until the Fulton County Museum would take it over. And that's where they thought it was until they suddenly realized it went missing. So now police are not only left wondering who took it, why they took it and how, but more importantly, when. We assumed it was there, I know, 2,000 pound bell doesn't just disappear. According to the Fulton County Historical Society, this nearly 150 year old bell has survived a lot. A church fire in the late 1800, the church's rebuilding in 1890 and its demolition in 2011. So when he heard someone took it from where it was being stored ever since, it was devastating. It's bad enough when people uh, discard things by either apathy or by mistake, but when it's uh, intentionally stolen, it makes it that much worse. According to police, the one ton brass bell would be impossible to take without heavy equipment. And with a value of $10,000, police have been speaking with metal scrap yards and antique dealers in the area for fear the takers wanted a quick buck. We're following any and all leads that come to us. For the museum, the acquisition of the bell is meant to serve as a memento to the people of Gloversville who remember its place in the community. People like Tony Senna, whose family owns the diner right across the street. You know, it's amazing. The bell used to ring all the time. When every time they have a service or whenever they had a wedding, we watched a lot of weddings from here when we were young. But since the bell has been in storage without regular checkups since its church came down in 2011, police say they aren't exactly sure when it was taken. And for Pollock, if it was taken to be sold for scrap, he hopes it's returned before irreparable damage is done. When you lose a piece of history, uh, it's gone forever. Now they first noticed it went missing on Thursday, but as I mentioned before, it could have been taken long before, which police say is even more important that if you know anything about who might have taken this missing bell or where it may be now that you come forward and tell police. Reporting live in Gloversville is Holiday News 10 ABC.